Where do you start when trying to prevent Alzheimer's in yourself and those you care about? I get asked this question a lot. There are new research findings and some clarity into what directions to consider. I'm finding it calls for hitting it from two different directions. The two-prong attack involves first, slowing aging and increasing health span. It sounds like science fiction, but the latest research shows you can do this with lifestyle, exercise, supplements, and some specific prescription meds. The New York Times bestselling book, Lifespan, by Dr. David Sinclair, makes some of the latest research in this area understandable with solid takeaways. Dr. Sinclair also has an eight-episode podcast, also called Lifespan, which is helpful. It summarizes his book and research findings since it was published in 2019. Also, Dr. Matt Caberlin is leading some exciting research at the University of Washington using the prescription drug rapamycin to slow aging. He's doing it in dogs. Early results from his dog aging project are very encouraging. Yes, it's dogs, but it's still something to put on your radar. I just interviewed him for the podcast. So, slowing aging is proving an important component to fight age-related diseases like Alzheimer's. The second prong of this attack involves correcting insufficiencies in your body. Are you getting enough sleep, enough estrogen or testosterone? How's your heart, thyroid health, vitamin B6 and B12 and folate levels, enough vitamin D, C and E? How about insulin? Is it too high? What's your level of bodily inflammation? How about your level of toxins? In other words, correct as many of these insufficiencies as you can. It's a marathon and not a sprint. Another New York Times bestselling book, The End of Alzheimer's by Dr. Dale Bredesen, is a good place to start on this front. And finally, you can get the latest scientific information on preventing and reversing Alzheimer's by going to the Cutting Edge Health Preventing Cognitive Decline website, YouTube channel, or audio podcast. I hope this answered some of the basic questions and was helpful.